Spring work is a painting of Libon Lenana. Yes. And that's on the walls of Lenana School. Yes. How are you commissioned to do this uh, artwork and what is its enduring legacy? The, um, when I was at Lenana School, as the name changed, because I was there when the name changed from Duke of York. From Duke of York to Lenana. To Lenana School. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, the challenge was, do, I, do we need to find Lenana, uh, an image of Lenana? And I was given the rather unique position of, uh, of what, having to paint the portrait. And this was a huge painting. And it's the first time I ever did an oil painting. Uh, so it was my, even though I painted, and that was my, my love, but I... I found it a fresh challenge having to do oils of the man whose whose name braces uh, this school. Yes, and um, that's when I did this huge portrait. And I must say, it's an absolute classic. It's amazing. It's and amazing. still hanging on the walls. Yes, and will continue to for on. generations to come. Absolutely. And the name Sam Madoka will always be associated with it. Architecture was the first intention from yeah. your father's side, yes. but you were more inclined towards the arts yes. and uh, music as such, isn't it? Well, Initially. <clears throat> as being, a, being a young man at that, at that time, you want to show. But what happened then is after, after we, we agreed that I wasn't any good at engineering or architecture, I bumped into a relative uh, who was involved in advertising. And he worked at Ogilvy and Maida, and he said, would you like to come and work with us? Mm -hmm. I had no idea what advertising was about. I was young. Yeah. I didn't know what it was all about. And I went in to the end of advertising industry, and it's like it opened up a whole new world. I, went, I, got into, I got into music. I got into painting and drawing. I moved out of painting and drawing and advertising because when I walked into that studio, there was... There were, there were three levels of guys. There was a guy who was under 20, there was a guy who was 30, there was a guy who was 40, and there was a guy who was 50. And I thought to myself, at 50, I don't want to be here. Right. <laughs> so this was, this was straight after high school? Straight after high school. Yeah. And, um, and I then said to my boss, listen, what else happens in this industry? And then I got the opportunity to work in every department. And when I got to radio and television, my mind was completely blown. 